What? What happened? What am I doing here? And where the heck is here? Let me get my camera. I hope it still works. Yes, it works. I have to record this. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I got this. My name is Dario Mackenzie. I'm a reporter for Daydream Geographic. I was sent to Great Bear Island to meet some scientists and report about their experiments. However, on a final approach to the airfield, something happened. In my mind, it's all black. Can't remember. I just woke up here. I'm lost. I'll try to find my way to the airfield for help and some answers. I'll keep recording to document what's going on. Mackenzie out. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? I need help. Hello? Hello? Dario Mackenzie reporting from Field 31 at Great Bear Island. I haven't found a soul so far. It seems everyone left in a hurry for some reason and left everything behind. I'm going to check all the quarters, uh, the cabinets and everywhere. See if I can find any clue of what's going on. I will report my findings later. Mackenzie out. This is Dario Mackenzie reporting from Field 31 at Great Bear Island. Well, it's been a week already. Not only I checked everywhere at the airfield, but also the cabins, caves, all the shelter I, I, I could find around the area. I did find the plane I flew in, crashed at the lake. The pilot, she didn't make it. Her name was Judith. She had a boyfriend working at the camp office in Mystery Lake. She told me he was waiting for her. Talk about the summers they spent fishing and hunting. Oh my god. I haven't found anyone alive. This place, the weather is so harsh. There are wolves everywhere, bears. A human doesn't rule this place anymore. I found some notes. Let me show you my journal.
I'll keep writing as long as my hands hold up. The old road can't be all broken. I didn't fly in here and there's no way they can make me fly out. No matter what the hell they say is going on. But doesn't say what they say that is going on. Or at least what they say that is going on. Welcome, associate. Here at Field 31, we take pride in being a pilot's best resource in the wilderness. From refueling to resupplying to a hot cup of coffee, our goal is to be a welcome way station for all visitors. From time to time, sensitive and hazardous cargo will pass through our hands, and we need to make sure all precautions are taken to safeguard it while it's in our care. What type of cargo? Your supervisor will direct you in all work tasks that may or may not intersect with such cargo. Otherwise, it's nothing field associates need to concern themselves with. This is for your safety. Similarly, any off-field visitors you may see handling unlabeled cargo are not to be engaged or noted in any way. Their clearance is pre-checked before they arrive. We hope you find your work at our little outpost rewarding. Day shift supervisor. Something weird is going on. To say for certain that security will be like out here. Told the boss a single exit point at the current airstrip would never satisfy our usual standard for evac. Nowhere else in the world would we set him up for a risk like this. But his eyes are open, and so are mine. The build has the green light. The build has the green light. This is a note from 1982. What build are they talking about? This don't have any dates on it, but the next one has it. This is June 1991. I found this note in a cabin. Uh, actually, I found a revolver in there, uh, which it's been very handy to scare the wolves off. So this note from 1991 says, Poppy always talk about the beauty out here. And after a few weeks on this survey, I can see that. It cost him a lot. All this endless sky. I still haven't reached the mine yet. My own work keeps getting in the way. He always said they were the one group you could never refuse. That company. You'd never work again. But he got sick, and all I found out here are the bones and whispers of a dead company. Even the name seems forgotten. No sense to it yet. What mine are they talking about? This is 1991. And here they are talking about a, a build that has a green light in 1982. Mission status unclear. Pilot activity appears routine and as predicted in my initial briefing. Business here at the field hardly registers as cover for any activity grander than mail delivery or solidarity in this god forsaken place. I found this one in a trailer and not uh, very far away. It seems that the weather is clearing up. The trailer is up there, behind the... Oh! There's one place I haven't checked yet. The top of the tower. Maybe there's something in there. Have to always be aware of the wolves. They can track you from very far away and they are very hostile. I did check the base though. There were no notes in here. Let's have a look upstairs. There's a note in here.
We are living. Can't stand the lights any longer. No sleep. Just no sleep. We are walking out of here. They are walking out of here. But where? Where did they go? I think they are talking about this strange fog. It's kind of a glim, glim fog. Charged with electricity. You can see that all the instruments are dead. There's no power. But when this fog appears, it engulfs you in just a few seconds. And uh, it's charged with electricity. I saw the lights uh, turning on. And it gives you a headache. Maybe they are talking about that? What about this? Bill 31 Operations Memo. As you know, we've been asked to provide search and rescue coverage for the rest of Great Bear. We are tapping into the existing radio transmitter system, but it's pretty old. The transmitter towers are scattered all over the lower island, including one with jury rigged right here at the Field 31 tower. The transmitter boxes are a bit prone to breaking down. But when powered and in good working order, each tower can cover a decent range, well beyond the region it's located in. Update your survey maps with the transmitter sites in Forlon Maskeg, Mystery Lake, Milton. Expect to do annual maintenance. The wiring and batteries seem particularly fragile. And we have had some trouble with fuses as well. Testing continues, but initial reports have picked up some signal interference and usual transmissions in the following locations in Lower Great Bear. Bleak Inlet, home of the old cannery site. Pleasant Valley, but we haven't determined yet where. Somewhere in the Hast River Valley. I don't know any of these places. Without these transmitters working, we'll have a hell of a time locating any transponder signals from crashed planes or whatever. So we need to stay on top of this. Signed, Captain Redrick. 14th Wind. Search and Rescue. I think they are talking about these transmitters. Maybe we can fix it. Feels like a lot of gear. Can use this. This would be the last piece. Well, we managed to turn it on. No luck so far. I guess I have to wait for that weird fog. And when the power comes back, then we can get a signal. If I find anything, I will report back. But for now, this is Dario Mackenzie reporting for um, Field 31.
from Daydream, Daydream Geographic. I can see out 